proved wrong here and probably will be that it's not actually all that good at estimating it. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. It starts to open up iWeb and if your iWeb's like mine it's going to ask you to choose a domain. It's a bit um, buggy about that. I mean I, I've opened it in this domain several times and it's still asking me to choose a domain and that's why it's good to have that folder on the side. So if I was looking at the, the desktop I go to my site my site Dave I know which domain I'm using this one here because it could be because I've named it domain 08 and maybe it doesn't like that anyway it doesn't matter it's irrelevant I quite like being able to choose a domain in it, it gives me more control and I do like control okay just waffle on here for a bit while it's doing a bit of its work it's compressing the movie now um, okay now the the next thing it does is uh, flip up a page here it says choose a template for your web page well we're not going to do a blog we're doing a podcast so let's go for a black one just for the hell of it but you can choose anything here you could choose a you know cloud nine pod or an elegant pod or whatever actually let's do elegant I reckon elegant looks good bugger it why not choose that and there we are we've got it up now before we do anything have a look let's go back up here and look at the the initial page upon which these pages see these ones all hang off that page so that's your podcast you can have more than one podcast in a site there's no problem with doing that um, but this one the, the podcast is there now um, you've got to be a little bit careful with this stuff right because um, first of all make sure your your um, inspector is on RSS tab and podcast tab because that's got all the bits in it. Let's add these bits in. Series artist. For me, it's me. Contact email. Davinoz at mac.com. Uh, parent advisory. Definitely advise them against letting any children hear me. Allow a podcast to iTunes store. Yes, I think that's not a bad idea. Duration, it actually knows. It'll work that out, but it's it it does the duration not for the whole podcast, which is what we're looking at here. It only does the duration when you click on entries, right? So let's come back. My mouse is having a particularly bad time today. It's been getting sticky. I'll have to whack some more of this this gear on it. There we are, that's better. Good old um, eucalyptus oil. Uh, okay, now you'll notice the pictures come up, which I had at the beginning of it. Um, also, this bit, uh, it's described it. It's got the first episode. So, this is my life, poor as it is, a lol. My first video podcast has come up. These are all bits that we put in the iTunes, uh, sorry, the. Um, garage band bit remember uh, you can change the blog summary type so you can make it um, uh, for instance you could have it so the pictures oh over here that looks pretty good isn't it? like that I quite like that I think I'll leave it at that you can also change the photo size ba -ba -da -ba, and whether you want it square or original or landscape or portrait Portrait doesn't make much difference really. Landscape, just no. No, that's rubbish because I've made it square, so that's the way I want it. Um, and extra space you can have around the edge of it, um, uh, sort of longer or, or smaller. You can see that moving around. Um, we'll go back to where it was before, probably that'll do. Okay, get rid of that. Now, um, now here's a trick, right, that's important. Be careful of this, as I have seen this with problems before. Um, this bit here that's selected, okay, is the bit that is going to 
go on to the RSS file about the podcast. Okay, so when you see something that says about this podcast, um, there, this bit here is the bit that you need to type it in. Uh, this is me all over whatever you like, doesn't matter. Um, don't type in like like an incredibly long bit that, that goes in here because it just won't fit. Um, and secondly, be careful of like adding these things in. You'll find that these actually, because they're not, this is the placeholder for the text that goes, uh, the description of your blog. Uh, this is not. See how nothing comes up there? No, no yellow tag comes up. On the other hand, if I click over this, type a description of your blog here comes up. You see what I mean? Over this, nothing. Over that, something. So on each one, you'll find that that's the way it goes. If I go over that placeholder, this image is a placeholder, drag a new media file here to replace it. And I do want that to be replaced, so I'm going to go to my media. And I'm going to put something nice up there. Where's it gone? Media, where are you, media? No, I'm having trouble here. Let me just quit out of this. Save it. Uh, nope. Okay. Media. Hello, media. It's um, deserted me for some reason. Now, that was bloody interesting. Um, what I found then was that uh, my iWeb wouldn't open the media browser uh, at all. Couldn't get it, right? Now I've got it and it's come back again. How did I do that? How did I fix it? Here's the first thing you do when you get, get a problem with something like this is you remove the P list, which is preferences list. Okay? Uh, you want to see what a P list looks like inside? I'll show you. It's full of a whole bunch of gobbledygook. <laughs> uh, of different bits and pieces and they're quite easy as you can see there's lots of odd figures and so forth in them they're quite easy to explode and consequently then the program stops working properly if you find that that's the case this is what you do go to your root folder if, in other words if you've got a problem with a program first thing to do is this go to the folder go to your library right go down until you find preferences now have a look for the plist. When it's an Apple program, you'll find it always starts with com.apple and then you'll find we've got there we are, iWeb plist. Now what I did was I dragged that out onto the desktop, right? And in doing so, when I dragged it out into the desktop, it created the new one. This is a new one there. Okay? Now the trouble is of course that all your preferences are now gone. So throw that in the bin. Get rid of the old one. So um, <clears throat> it didn't know where any of the files were and it opened up asking me to create a new site. So that didn't phase me, being the magician that I am. I went to my uh, site, my site Dave, and I simply double clicked on the domain file that I wanted. And uh, there's a domain 8 and it opened us back up into domain 8. OK, so that's got everything there now. Right, so we're back up again and we've got the media file that we wanted. And I'm now going to find the bit of media that I want in particular, which is a duck one. Where is my duck one? Uh, I don't know where my ducks are. Oh, look, anything will do. A lawnmower, that'll do. Um, let's whack that on there. Okay. Um, now you can actually adjust that, um, yes you can, you can edit the mask on that uh, by moving it around, so I'll just have a little lawnmower like that I think, okay, now got that done, now that's it then, so I've got that, let's have a look at the entry, um, and we ought to bring up the inspector while we're there, here's the inspector, make sure an RSS and podcast, and we're looking at the first entry, and that's uh, my first video podcast, which is what we wrote in the um, GarageBand one. There it is. Let's click it and see if it plays.